All right, and we're back making a video about this lunatic. <sighs> I think he's actually getting even worse, and I really didn't want to make this video because I've already made, I think, nine videos on him, and my channel is just getting a bit messy with his garbage, but he uh, made a video on Danny Wu's documentary. This is actually the third one he's made, I believe, and he put me in the beginning for some reason. Anyway, um... Before we watch it, though, I want to go down to the comments because I've noticed over his last few videos, he actually does have people who support him, if you can believe that. Of course, the people who support him are just as crazy as he is. Like, take a look at this guy here. Sadly, I can't react to much because on this video, there's only one of his supporters. But, um, I mean, we're welcome to at least read what this one has to say. Listen to what this guy, ha listen to what he says and the way he talks, and it's just like John. It's so weird. Matt, in capital letters, thinks he knows everything about Michael Jackson. I do. Matt, capital letters, is a creepy man. Doesn't make any sense. He even hates the younger MJ fans who call themselves Moonwalkers. No, I never said I hated the younger fans. I said I hate all fans because they're just rude people, but I hate the term Moonwalkers because it's just a dumb, immature term. Like... And again, it's like, look at this, look at this. Apparently, apparently, I'm not allowed to hate the term. Like, it's forbidden, according to him. Capital letters, again, is a butthead, whatever. I won't even watch his videos. Okay, so he's admitting that he doesn't know, you know, who I am or what I have to say. His videos suck. Interesting. So, you know that my videos suck, yet you never actually watch them. There we go. See? That's why, that's why I wanted to read this, because they're just like John. They have the same logic as him which is no logic <laughs> what makes me laugh is all these mj super fans are fake losers fake losers a term that john uses all the time michael jackson loved all his fans not just matt uh nobody's ever said that but okay and the other so-called mj super fans even those even the obsessed mj fans make me sick screw them all matt is a fat retard so as you can see he uses all the same ways of talking as John does, he used the same types of terms, the same pathetic uh, way of typing, the same insults like fake, loser, retard, fat, all the same thing. Uh, he makes statements that are not backed up with any kind of evidence or proof. He talks exactly like John. It's so weird. He wrote a second comment saying, Every time I hear the loser song by Michael Jackson, I think about Matt, Wade, and James. So apparently, I'm the same as Wade and James. Okay, that makes no sense. Danny Wu is an idiot, so he calls Danny Wu an idiot just because Danny Wu made a very good documentary for Michael Jackson, so that's a, that's, that's another theme with an, with an American scheme and his few supporters, which is that anybody who does good videos is, all, is automatically an idiot. Like, I bet before the Square One documentary, John didn't even know who Danny Wu was, but because Danny Wu made a really great documentary, all of a sudden he's a stupid person, because that's how... And I believe that the reason they do that is because John basically gets jealous of anybody who makes better videos than him, like Danny or me. So once a person makes really good videos, he starts getting incredibly jealous and then just calls that person an, an idiot while not actually proving the reasons why. He thinks he's an MJ advocate. Uh, well, he made a documentary defending MJ, so I would call that an advocate, yeah. Also, screw you, Danny, you loser. So again, you loser doesn't explain why he's a loser, doesn't explain what Danny Wu did wrong. Same logic as John. I was watching Michael Jackson and playing his music before Danny Wu was out of diapers. So now his logic, you do finally get a reason, but of course the reason, just like John's reasons, are incredibly stupid. He calls Danny a loser because this guy was listening to Danny, sorry, was listening to Michael Jackson's music while Danny was still a baby. So Danny Wu is a loser and stupid because he's younger than you? Like, eh, anyway, there's no point in trying to explain the logic because it's just the logic of John. But yeah, let's check out this video. This is hilarious. And, uh, oh, sorry. But then I saw this stupid video that Matt's FTR. And, uh, I just want to express what a really dumb person. Matt's FTR, he's, he's, he's really dumb. And there's John again. It's the same thing he always does. Anytime a person makes better videos than him or makes videos with, like, proof and evidence and reason, logic, common, rare sense, 
he just calls them stupid. He calls them wrong. He calls them idiots. He calls them losers because that's all that's all John can do is name call people. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. He's been like this for the last two years he's been here. And John's never going to change. And the reason he's not going to change is because John genuinely thinks that he's right. He thinks that he's smart. And it's really depressing. And then not only is he dumb, he's got a very bad soul. He's a very bad person. Well, there you go again. See, how much do you want to bet me that he's not actually going to go into any detail or provide a single reason as to how I'm a bad person with a bad soul? But again, just like I said in my first nine videos against John... It's the exact same thing. He deflects. Every single time, and people, if you haven't heard me say this in my previous videos on him, pay attention here because this is how it is. Any time that John insults somebody, like every Michael Jackson fan on the entire website, and then every, and then every single insult he uses, like, you're a bad person with a bad soul, you're a loser, you're a scum, you're a loner, you're a fat retard, you're never going to have a girlfriend. Just all of, the, all of the insults that John uses in almost every video... Keep in mind the thing here. In psychology, what John is doing is deflecting. All of those insults actually apply to him, but he pushes the insults on other people to make himself feel better. It's called deflecting as well as projecting. Because he's dumb and he's a bad person, he, instead of trying to fix his own problems, the things that makes him... But what problem is that, John? See, to you, a problem is anybody who disagrees with you and you've proven this over and over again you've even admitted to it you've proven repeatedly that in order for somebody to be a bad person they just need to disagree with you on this diana ross thing in order for someone to be a loser they just need to disagree with you on this diana ross thing the entire reason why you made your first video against danny Wu and why you hated the documentary and you even said this in the video more than once you even wrote it in the video description is because Danny Wu did not talk about Diana Ross. You literally said that, you know, the Square One documentary is a bad documentary just because he didn't mention Diana Ross. And all of a sudden he's a fake. That's how your logic is, John. Somebody is all of a sudden a fat loser, a retard, a moron, a stupid, a complete idiot, scum, a horrible person. If they don't believe in your Diana Ross thing, if a person does agree with you, they're all of a sudden the greatest person in the world, you love them, and all that does is show your extreme lack of intelligence as well as uh, your narcissistic personality disorder. Such the bad person, he just simply attacks everybody. And so apparently I attack everybody. So again... Let's try to throw some logic. By the way, if I seem like I'm more down in this video, I still find John extremely hilarious. But at this point, with how long John has done this and the fact that he doesn't learn from what anybody tells him, shows me that it's kind of sad at this point. Like, I, I almost feel bad for him, not because he hurts other people by with his terrible insults but be, and how he attacks um, MJ fans who have mental disorders because he's a fucking piece of shit, but... He seems like he's, it doesn't even seem like trolling anymore. He actually seems like he's genuinely unable to see what's wrong with him. And he just pushes it on everybody else. And because of that, I kind of feel bad for him. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll just continue. <laughs> Puts them down and degrades them. So there you go. He's saying that I put people down and degrade them. But again, he doesn't mention a single person I do this to. He doesn't mention a single video of mine where I actually do this. What he's referring to is, again, his projection and deflecting. He's actually referring to himself. Now, you might be wondering, well, how is he referring to himself when he's one person and he just said in the video that I, that I attack everybody? It's because John actually does think he's everybody. He genuinely believes that if you don't agree with his Diana Ross thing, that you're, that you're attacking him, which is really fucked up. But that is what he thinks. And John believes that he's a center of the world. So when he says to somebody, you attack everybody... He's just referring to himself, but if I was to actually ask him, in fact I will, Jean, please go to my channel and actually pinpoint a video where I'm insulting a person who's not you. Please, go ahead. And I, I, I mean an individual person, not like a group of people. Because um, obviously I'll insult like, you know, movements and like groups of people who deserve it. And then if you actually do find a video of me attacking somebody and demonizing somebody, here's a follow-up question. Did that person deserve it? 
And if you actually go through my video, you will never see a single video of mine where I insult somebody or call somebody a name. Um, first of all, for me, doing that in general is, are very few and far between. But even the people I do do that to, they've all deserved it. I'd like you to find one person who didn't. And again, you're thinking of yourself. I know that. So before you go, well, Matt, you insult me. Well, first of all, I only insult you because you insulted me first. And secondly, um, you deserve it. So it's it's not bad. Belittles him. Ugh, he's just disgusting. So let me show you this. But again, that's what you do. Look at all the videos you've made. Almost every video you've made that are not part of your Diana Ross story is just you insulting Michael Jackson fans from Teresa, Ashley, Michael Traps, and Krista, me. You, uh, you attack everybody. You attack every single person who disagrees with you. And the people who disagree with you don't even attack you. You just simply take the disagreement as an attack and attack them back because you're extremely fucked up in the head. That's what you always do. Even the very video I'm reacting to right now is an attack against me and Danny. So in one video, you're attacking two people while simultaneously saying that you're the one being attacked. You also have a victim complex. This little part here about him, and I was just like, what a moron. So they are not woke for doing those things. They are asleep. People like me and many other people who are anti-SJW and are trying to save the world, we're the woke ones. So again, backwards world. <laughs> oh my God, he's woke. Okay, now, uh, uh, talking about drug culture, a lot of things about drug culture I don't like to actually talk about because it's more of an adult conversation. So the first thing I want to state about drugs is I'm not... Um, encouraging anybody to use drugs in the way that it is because especially illegal that's what I should stress I'm not stressing for you to use any illegal drug because the one simple fact is you don't know exactly what it is that you're taking you don't know where it came from you don't know how it was produced and those are very, very dangerous elements, especially in our modern society. If you people don't know what's happening is right now, people are being slaughtered because there's this drug out there called fentanyl. And from what I understand, fentanyl is very, very powerful. And what happens is when you take these drugs, I'm going to associate it with, because uh, I think it's some kind of a synthetic opioid. So I'm going to associate it with some kind of opium. And so what happens with the, like an opium, it, it relaxes your heart muscle. And what happens is it, it relaxes your heart muscle to the point so much that your heart actually stops. Once your heart stops, that's how you die. These people, that's how they die from these kind of opiate type of related drugs. What happens then is this fentanyl drug is like a hundred times stronger than the opium, the heroin, heroin, whatever it is, this drug that these people think that they're doing. And then what happens is they these people take a drug in a certain dose of what they're used to. What happens is that drug then is laced with fentanyl and the fentanyl kills them because they're overdosing. There's too much of it. They don't know what they're taking. They didn't know that it was there. So that's the first warning I got to stress to everybody right now in our culture, any form of a legal drug. And you, even when you're talking about legal drugs, you got to know the supplier. It can appear that's the other thing is they're they're making these pills from what I understand they're making pills that look like uh, like say like a Percocet or something some kind of drug that's a common drug these drug users use or whatever and so it'll look like that drug but it has it has fentanyl in it and that's what's killing these people so you got you don't even a drug it might look like it's the real thing but it's not it was actually produced somewhere else if you don't know that Prince the drugs that Prince had on he was got killed by fentanyl from what I understand he had drugs that were in that situation it was a drug that was packaged to look one way but actually there was fentanyl in there and it was supposed to be official one but you know and he didn't up dying all these people they're all dying of fentanyl is the one that's just ravaging our society right now it's fentanyl so one thing i want to stress though about drug culture and the term woke <laughs> okay first of all and then see i never heard the term here's a it's a hilarious thing okay right i'm 47 years old i've 
been affected by things. I do all kinds of things. And I live in America. He doesn't live in America, okay? And now all right, so there's a lot to unload here. He just went on a big rant about drugs. And you might be confused if you've seen my video here. In my video, I'm talking about backwards terms that are created by SJWs. And in the SJW movement, the term woke refers to somebody who's basically seen outside the box and is smarter. He just, ran on, he just went on a big rant about drugs. So he completely misunderstood the term. He doesn't seem to understand that, that the term woke has more than one meaning. Uh, he actually would have known that if he had watched my whole video. But of course, John, instead of actually learning things and realizing that a word can have more than one definition, he just goes on this big rant about drugs, which had nothing to do with my video whatsoever. Um... He then he and then he makes his traditional comments like I live in the U.S., which doesn't make which d doesn't have any relevance to anything. But he loves people knowing where he lives for some reason. And then, now, do you hear him rant on this word "social justice warrior" (SJW)? Okay, I never. I'm sure I had he maybe heard the thing before, but I never was aware of it. It wasn't anything that I didn't care about that term. The so there you go. There is John's biggest problem. And right there, it shows just how little knowledge he has about the world, the media, and what goes on. If a person doesn't know what a social justice warrior is, I traditionally think they're either incredibly stupid or they're older. Now, he is older. He's actually almost 50 years old. But for somebody who spends a lot of time on the internet, he should know what an SJW is. And this does prove what a stupid fuck he is, because he's going to go on saying that I know what it is and... You know, I'm a dumbass for like focusing on something that, that that to him doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter to him because he doesn't know that it's actually a big thing. So I'll give you a quick little lesson here, John. By the way, that also proves you don't watch my videos because I talk about SJWs a lot, and if you don't know what they are yet, that means you don't really watch me and you're just a fucking hypocrite. But um, a so an SJW is a social justice warrior. They are basically referring to the term refers to people now a movement that began in 2014 approximately and they're the dumb people who complain about like feminism and white people are evil and they want like black they want like uh, only black people in like hollywood and media they're the people that the media and hollywood supports um in school in universities and stuff they're corrupting kids by teaching them a class called gender studies where they lie to them about the oppression women face and they and they're also the people who believe in that like thousand gender shit they're the people who um attack people for disagreeing with them um antifa who think that they're actually fighting against bad people but they are really a terror terrorist organization are like extremist left people who again are also um essentially sjw's so you think it's not a big thing because it doesn't affect your extremely tiny world but the SJW movement is actually supported by the biggest things in the world, which are Hollywood and media. And for you to not know that is genuinely pathetic. SJWs are, in fact, the biggest issue in our society right now. The biggest issue because they have destroyed our society. They may not have destroyed your society because your society revolves around sitting on your computer insulting Michael Jackson fans and gambling. Plus, you're older, I'll give you that. But they are the biggest issue in our society right now because they're being supported by the biggest things in our world, which are Hollywood and media. And if you don't think that having a very bad movement that damages Western society supported by the two biggest things on the planet is bad, then you are fucked. You know, that, that the wording of it, the social justice warrior people thing, whatever. You know, I never was really... He was the one. I, the first time I ever heard it was this guy. So if those... The first time he ever heard it was from me. Social justice warriors are not only one of the biggest issues, if not the biggest issues currently, you know, in our time. Um, you would you would have heard it from the thousands and upon hundreds of thousands of other people all across the internet, complaining about the kinds of things these people say. But you're just too fucking stupid. Those people were so prominent and so affecting of the world. Wouldn't I have heard of them? <laughs> Well, no, because your world lives inside of a box, John. You don't know about anything outside of gambling and just being on, the, I guess, the Michael Jackson side of YouTube. They are prominent. SJW, the SJW movement is the biggest movement 
one of the biggest in society, and it's been around since 2014, so it's also been around for almost six years. You're just stupid for not knowing what it is. That's all you are. They are infecting Hollywood, media, school. Our entire school curriculum at, at university anyway is fucked up because of the inclusion of gender studies classes, political correctness, and things like that. And for you to not know about it is genuinely pathetic. You spent so much time on a pathetic conspiracy theory about Michael Jackson's mother that you're not focused on what's going on in the real world. You're pathetic, John. You are what you call everyone else. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's like, they're out there. They're destroying the world. They're doing all this stuff. And it's like, okay, I agree. There are, from what he says, yeah, I know who they are now. What you're talking about, they are out there and they're doing things. But in no fashion or context are they destroying the world. How could they have possibly, when I... How are they destroying the world? No, John. I guess I guess um, destroying the entire mainstream media to supporting them, uh, demonizing all white people, changing the way we talk, trying to literally eliminate free speech. Yeah, those are not a big deal, John. You're an idiot. I hadn't even heard that term a few months ago. It's ridiculous. And so the part of being woke, what he doesn't know and this is why I wanted to mention the stuff about drugs, because I don't want to, I'm not trying to push you guys into drugs, but the drugs that are, would be under the uh, brand of the hallucinogenics, like, which would be like LSD and magic mushrooms, drugs like that. The hallucinogenic drugs actually open up your mind, you know? When you actually experience those drugs, you open up your mind, you actually are now in a, you're in an alternative world. You're seeing things. And when you take these drugs, you become like John, and your mind opens up, and you now believe that Diana Ross is Michael Jackson's actual mother. That's what your mind opens up to. Differently, you are experiencing oh, the fuck. things that you've seen one way, now is see, is you're going to see it a different way, and now it's going to be affecting you a different way. And after those experiences of hallucinogenic experiences, you have become woke. You have a version of the the word, the technicality word of like, whoa, you have woken up because your mind has been literally woken up. Now, do you think Matt has even the slightest concept of what I'm talking about? No. And because... Yes, actually I do because I know most things. But anyway. And I would understand drug use because I'm a... F I mean, I work in fucking nursing. Well... I used to, but anyway. <laughs> he doesn't have the slightest concept. I think if this. he was to re, uh, make a, a reference back to what I'm saying, all he would do is call me, oh, what a stupid loser. Oh, God, what a drug addict. I don't use those terms because I'm not you. Like he would he would put these words to degrade me to try and make himself build himself up like he's something because he... I don't need to build myself up, John. All I need to do is do what I always do. Speak facts. See, I don't need what you, what you do. I don't need screaming to speak for me. I don't need insults to speak for me. I don't need calling everybody who disagrees with you about this Diana Ross thing an idiot, loser, moron, retard as, as my way to bring myself up because that's what you do. I only need one thing, the truth, facts, knowledge. It's actually three things, but I was, I, I was only going to say truth, but whatever. <laughs> The fact of the simple matter is can't deal with any form of the context of the conversation I'm having. Right oh, I can't deal with the conversation. Dude, out of the nine videos I made against you, only three of them were actually responded back from, from you. You're the one who can't handle conversation because you can't handle being proven wrong, which I've done to you over and over and over again. You make a video about me, I make a video back, and then you don't make a video back to my video because you know you can't make a video back. It doesn't matter either way. All you're going to do is the same shit that you're doing right here, but I'm just, but the point is you still can't right now because he's asleep this guy's asleep as he can be look at him living in his little box there all he does is live in so according to john if you live in a small apartment it means you're stupid everything in this guy's mind that a person does is stupid if you don't agree with his diana ross thing hey my girlfriend owns headphones well i must be stupid like <laughs> in a box and yell at people and the reason yell at people again Stupid moron who can't fucking use facts and just talks out of his asshole. Please point out a video, aside from the videos I made against you, where I'm calling people names and attacking people.
and yelling. Please, please, let's go find a video of mine. Do it. Let's go. The reason I'm on him is because he's got the nerve on his page. It says Michael Jackson advocate. Yes, I was a Michael Jackson advocate for over 10 years. But now John's going to say that I'm not an advocate because I don't agree with his Diana Ross thing. We all know it. There's no point in even checking. All right, take that off of your page, Matt, you disgusting scumbag. Because in no fashion of any context of any world that we live in, are you any fashion of a Michael Jackson advocate? This Why? Just because I don't agree with the Diana Ross thing. Let me guess, Dan Danny Wu isn't an advocate. His documentary is invalid because he doesn't mention Diana Ross. Razor Fist videos are invalid because he didn't mention Diana Ross. Fuck you, dude. Not everything's about Diana Ross, you stupid fucking idiot. This bastard has the nerve to tell me who cares about your story. No yes, nobody cares except for the two or three comments from of support I've seen on your page. And those people, just like this motherfucker here, Alan, is just as crazy as you. So what does that say? Nobody cares about your story. And this is the Michael Jackson advocate guy denouncing me. So because somebody denounces you, just you, one person, they're all of a sudden not an MJ advocate at all. I've never seen an ego this big in my entire life. And I have a lot of life experience, man. What a loser. And it denouncing everybody because he claims, hey, well, you're not the one that's woke. I'm the one that's woke. This is a backwards world. What a moron. It is a backwards world. And the funny thing is you are actually an example of that. The belief that a person can't defend Michael Jackson because they disagree with just John is backwards. To even say the context of the backwards world, you have to have an understanding of God. Diana Ross. Yeah, whatever. God's plan for this world. God's plan. So you believe in God too. Wow, you really are a fucking moron. And you know what? You know what this whole thing's about that he bitches about? That he's a loser. That he doesn't have the job that he doesn't want because he's a loser. He doesn't make enough money that he wants because he's a loser. He doesn't. He can't get the girlfriend that he wants because he's a loser. That <laughs> All three of those, especially the girlfriend one, are hilarious. Uh, I guess he suddenly forgot who Steph is. I don't know how he could forget. He literally made a video showing creepy pictures of her that he screenshotted from my cruise video with very creepy music over top of it. But I guess he suddenly forgot who she was. By the way, for anybody who doesn't know, John actually tried to flirt with her. So he likes her. That's all there is to it. Every day he sits in his house, he sits there as a loser. And he can't go out and actually see the people and experience. I can't go out, coming from the man who doesn't even know what an SJW is, the biggest fucking movement in our society. <laughs> but no, I'm the one who doesn't go out. It's because everywhere he goes, all he feels like is this a loser. All he knows is that he's a loser. He's not good looking. He's not smart. He's not friendly. People. Don't there you go. There's, there's John deflecting. Every single insult he just made is him deflecting and projecting himself. None of this is towards me. He's saying it towards me, but it's not really towards me. It's the, it's his inner insecurities coming out, and he he pushes them on people who disagree with him because it makes him feel better. That's a psychological fact, buddy. But anyway. I don't really like him. He can't make a freaking decent video on YouTube. I can't make a decent video. Well, again, I the, the, the kind of society we currently live in. Facts are considered bad, and I guess you believe the same thing. So yes, if, if facts are considered bad to modern-minded people, then yeah, I'm a fucking piece of shit. But in reality, in like the real, well, not the real world because the real world sucks, but like in, in humanity, if people were still sane, if facts were considered a good thing, I'd be one of the best. All he does is yell at everybody, has... Meanwhile, I'm staying perfectly calm while this guy is actually literally yelling while saying that I'm yelling. <laughs> what a loser. No, uh, there's no depth to his conversation. Is it there's no depth? Dude, I go into so much detail. Oh, fuck it. Who cares? Anybody who watches me knows the truth. It's a complete attack. Look at him saying, they're not the woke ones. I'm the woke ones. Wow, me talking about the term woke me is an attack to him. Oh man, he's so crazy. Ah, <laughs> what a loser. So now, let me get to this loser, Danny Wu. And now this is, 
This is okay, so he's finished attacking me. Now let's go attack Danny. This guy will attack anybody while deflecting, saying that everyone else is doing the attacking and he's the one being attacked. Everybody knows that this guy's fucking crazy. I mean, clinically fucking insane. And, uh, oh, fuck, another 30-minute video. Oh, well. See ya. <laughs>